What's good with y'all boys YouTube man? It's your boy CK Spazzin and today I'm back with a special video man As y'all can see this is not my bike. You know what I'm saying? This is not my bike This is my brother bike right here man One of my closest friends I got man and he just finally cashed out on a 750 and I'm the one I told him I'm like man you sure you want me to be the first person to ride your bike But he ain't got no choice because he at work right now and he won't make it in time to come get the bike so uh, he asked me if I could come pick it up for him. So I was like, yeah, I got you, bro. You feel me? My brother, man, CG Breezy, man, my boy Chris, then finally cast out and got him a motorcycle, man. So I'm going to do the honors and give you this first ride to let him know how it's going. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything good with it. I already did my little inspections for it before I even decided to pull off yet. Yeah, just want to make sure everything right. I don't hear nothing funny. I don't see nothing funny. Everything look good squared away, man. But, yo, check this bad boy out. Let me do a quick walk around real quick, man. I, think, I believe it's a 2018 or 2017 Jixxon 750. I love this colorway, man. This shit dope. I like that black and yellow. That shit hard. Sound good. It, got, it still got the cat on there, but they don't have the muffler on there no more. Whoa. Sound good, man. Look good. And uh, we finna test it out, man. See how it's riding, man. It's a special video, man. I've been waiting for so long for my boy to finally get him a bike, man. I have no riding buddy. I've been telling him, bro. I ain't got nobody to ride with. But now, my buddy cashed, him, cashed out, got him a bike. So now we finna see how it go. A nice bike, bro. Beautiful bike. Beautiful color. Shit, I honestly feel like I'm riding my bike, but I can't. He got he His bike not stressing nothing, so... My boy Christian got him a bike, boy. I'm proud of you, Chris. About time, boy. Shit. Nigga. Man. Woo! New bike, new bike alert. My boy Chris. Proud of you, brother. For so, for so, man. My boy Chris. He used to have a Jixxon 600. Poly man, poly going on three years ago now. And he sold it, you know, planning on doing the upgrade or whatnot. And he upgraded, man. Jixxon 750, man. Hey, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, know how I get on 750 crew, you feel me? Ain't nothing, I ain't gonna say the one thigh wilds ain't, ain't, ain't it, you feel me? Because they, they hard bikes too. But what I'm saying is, the white bright for the right price perfect amount of power can beat 1000s you have you you're not going to make a mistake getting this bike man i didn't persuade him to get this bike but i also didn't persuade him not to get this bike i told him man, at the end of the day your money ultimately your decision but i'm not going to tell you nothing i ain't going to tell you nothing wrong and as y'all know i keep it real on this channel man i don't give a damn how big i get you know what I'm saying? How big the channel get, I'm always keeping it booked. And I told him, I ain't never had no problems with my bike. It don't let me down if you're trying to go fast. He fed me if you're trying to race somebody. Any things of that nature, you're going to have no problems. So, that's one thing I told him. But I got my boy got him a bike, man. That's crazy. up these tires a little bit it's a whole bunch of traffic going home right now god i pray you keep me away from all hurt harm danger and evil and crisis god i pray you see angels down to protect me keep me away from all hurt harm and danger god i pray that i'll get make it back home safe god and i pray that we save while we on the road god in Jesus name i pray amen I definitely, most definitely can tell the difference between riding a stock motorcycle with no with no flash and tune versus riding my bike which is flash and tune. I can most definitely see the feel the difference. I mean it's not like just oh this bike just slow, but it, it that you definitely can, can tell when the throttle responds. Which is crazy because me riding my bike for so long it start to it don't get normal but like you get used to it, you know what I'm saying? But ah, this this motherfucker, this motherfucker feels good. That 
motherfucker feel good for sure. <laughs> that's my girlfriend right here. This baby, that's Miss Spaz right there, y'all. My baby right here driving. She better pay attention to the road when he's looking at me. <laughs> Yeah, that's my baby right there in that Toyota. Right now, under these conditions, man, these are these are the dangerous, most dangerous times to ride, in my opinion, man, because for the simple fact, traffic, a bunch of traffic, people can't drive. Like people like to swerve, get mad, swerve over, and. It's just it's just not a safe place to ride under in the under these conditions man like for real for real though It's just actually dangerous because people just pull over and shit and it's just it's just bad bro He most definitely got to take that cat off So people can hear it coming It's not quiet, but it ain't the loudest My boy gonna love this bike, man. He gonna love it, man. He's going to love this bike. bike so much louder compared to this bike bro it's crazy how much sound that fucking cat at the bottom soaks up man that's crazy that thing literally takes away 80 percent of your sound coming from your exhaust system bro i don't even know why they put that on these damn things i mean i know why obviously but damn like your bike could be so much less restricted bro without that damn can that damn cooler sitting at the bottom of your bike then that shit weigh like 10 pounds so not only is it soaking up all the sound that you also desperately need it's heavy as hell so it's adding weight to your bike that's like the number one thing i suggest doing when you get your new bike take that shit off now that's just my opinion. If you like your bike quieter, then by all means, keep it on there. But if you want your bike louder and get more performance out of it, cut it off. Simple as that. It's crazy, man. It's, it ain't, it, I, <laughs> One thing I want to say, man, is appreciate y'all to appreciate all, the, all the new subscribers, man. All the new people who joined the Spaz Out crew, man. I want to say thank you, man. You did not make a bad decision. It's nothing but motivation and positivity on this channel only, man. And I want to say thank you for taking the time out your day to subscribe and join the family man and view the videos man hey I, I try to do the best as i can bring y'all the best quality i can man and i want to say thank y'all to all the new support man all the new subscribers thank y'all man we are almost at 1900 subscribers that is crazy and i'm oh so blessed to be able to say it man it's a dream come true you know doing something i love doing creating content man and uh and motorcycle just uh, is just having to be a hobby of mine that i'm able to record doing I've been riding motorcycles and dirt bikes, four wheelers, all of this shit since I was a kid, man. Since a since a kid. But I just so happened to finally be able to get a GoPro and be able to record this and bring footage, record me doing it, man. So I wanna say thank y'all to all the new subscribers for all the love. I really appreciate it. And I wanna say thank you to all the people who's been down with your boy, CK Spazzin. I wanna say thank y'all thank you to y'all as well. Man, I really appreciate all the support, man. Y'all been going crazy in the comment section. The likes, the subscribing, the watching the videos, man. Thank y'all, man. And regardless if we hit 
2,000 subscribers by the end of this month, like the goal I had, regardless of the fact, man, if we don't, I'm still doing the, my giveaway, man, when we hit 2,000 subscribers. When we hit 2,000 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway, 100%. So, but I still, man, I still believe that we can hit it by the end of this month. I still believe we can, man. Still got about, what, two more days? I mean, I'm not two more days. Like two more weeks or a week and a half, man. I, I believe we can hit it, man. I really do. Now I'm finna, I'm finna spread the wings on this motherfucker. See what it's really hitting for. Just, you know what I'm saying? If it's really worth it, buying. You know what I'm saying? And they get some open road real soon over here in Mexico, man. there quick too not gonna lie they got there quick they got there quick boy oh yeah of course you got you a, you got you a friday bike man this bike is good good bro it's running good bro not gonna lie it's so clean in the bitch too this so hard <laughs> hey your bike hard brother no bullshit I'm not gonna lie, your bike hard, and I love the colorway on it, man. This shit, so he got a bunch of shit he gonna do to it as well, man. So he gonna have some upgrades coming, man. Like I said, I'm gonna persuade, I'm gonna persuade my boy to get him a GoPro, man, and stuff before, and I'm gonna show him the loop and the rope, you know, through the city. I know how it is, man. The funny story is, is yesterday he was supposed to go pick up his bike, but he drove to the wrong location, and it was he was already time crunching because he got off work and they closed him like within an hour or thirty. So he drove to the wrong location, a different a different dealership that his bike wasn't at. I was on my way to the dealership to meet him because I told him I was gonna ride with him back from the dealership, I'm gonna ride back together. But now I'm riding his bike back. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. But man, I, I don't know if it's gonna be a second part to this video or not, but if not, man, I wanna say appreciate y'all for tuning in to this video, man. Thank y'all for all the support.